production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Are you ready to take your vocals to the next level? Because I got seven tips for better vocal mixing. Starting with number one, good in equals good out. Consider quality every step of the way. Record a good singer in a room that doesn't have any extra noise or echoes. Sort of outboard gear, even at the lowest budget, will make a huge difference when you go to put your plugins on your recording. Uh, the better starting point will give you a much, much better finished product. Uh, if you're curious about outboard gear or what I use, I did a video all about it. We'll put it in the description. Moving on, number two. You can't compete with the beat. One can shine at a time. Make sure the beat is not overpowering your vocals at any point where the vocal is supposed to be the focal point of the song. And number three, in addition to keeping your lead vocal loud and clear, keep it centered and make sure that uh, it is not overpowered by stereo, reverb, or any other sort of spreading effects because when you listen to it in a Bluetooth speaker, for example, it's going to be almost inaudible if it is too wide. Uh, it's cool to do the wide effects with stuff like that, but just make sure that there is some clean, centered mono signal in there too, uh, just to kind of hold it down in the middle of your mix. Are you a music producer looking to create the next Spotify smash? Do you want DJs and record labels begging for your exclusives? Are you ready for the most comprehensive collection of organic samples? Introducing Raw Hits 2, the sequel to our best-selling product featuring over 500 more samples, one-shots, loops, and blazing hot ingredients for your music production. Raw Hits 2 is available now only at wholeloops.com. Number four, when you're processing your voice, combine compressors. I prefer to start out with a compressor with a slow attack and a fast release first, and then follow it up with a faster attack, more limiter style uh, plugin afterwards. On this vocal that I'll show you in a second, I have a Tube Tech compressor by UAD, slow attack, fast release followed up by the Waves MV2. This is more of a uh, limiter kind of sounding compressor, so I just bumped this up and bumped this down a little bit to kind of maximize the volume of my vocal. Moving on. Low cut your background vocals, supporting vocals, and ad-libs just a little bit more than you would your lead vocal. That'll help it feel more full and help direct the listener's attention towards it. Uh, like in this vocal, I low cut it, it at 130. It's a lower kind of male voice, so I pick a lower number. And then the ad-lib, I low cut it at 223 over 100 hertz higher, uh, and that just kind of helps separate them a little bit, and the ad-lib sounds more like an ad-lib. It sounds like a separate vocal that interjects the main one, and that's what I want. Hell no, nah, nah. put my phone on silent, stingy hoes, wow. always going shopping. <laughs> Whew. Tesla, I be locking, man. Number six, always add your special effects on a return channel. Very easy to do right click, insert return channel. Ableton usually gives you a reverb and delay one here by default. I like to go in and swap it out for my favorite reverb plugins. I even added a little sidechain compression to it to help my reverb kind of pump up and down with the drums. And then I like the H delay. Uh, it's kind of my go-to. Didn't end up using this simple delay. Um, but if you just have the Ableton stock plugins, you can get a very similar effect with the simple delay or ping pong delay. Damn. People are wiling out here with these motorcycles. The beauty of adding your effects on a return channel is that you can keep your clean, centered vocal 
right down the middle um, and kind of choose the volume of it separately from the volumes of your processed voices. And having that kind of separate control is great when you're mixing down to really dial in exactly uh, how much reverb you do or don't want. And number seven, make sure your vocal is in tune. Uh, you don't have to do this to every vocal, but certainly in hip hop vocals, even just adding a little bit of uh, the songs in D minor. So I added just a little bit. Um, you know, by default, it's usually around 30. I pulled it back to about 40. Main chick, side chick, both of them be wild. Chose the little male up here. Put my phone on silent. Stingy hoes. Always going shopping. <laughs> Tesla, I be locking. Main. So that's it. I hope you learned something from my seven tips on better vocal mixing. If there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, leave it in a comment below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to those who have turned on notifications for my uploads. I'll be seeing you soon with another tutorial. Peace out.